I the only one who thinks that I am floating like a genie above a magic carpet? I appear to be in the air. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? <laughs> magic. In the last video, we upgraded to 1.19.5 release candidate 1 that has that dreadful forging bug. I'm waiting for that bug to be corrected. In the meantime, I decided to keep going. We're doing very well on the basics, so I'm keeping going on the basics. All sorts of little things that will just make our lives easier. Also, I have been doing some collecting. I found what I hope you think when you watch it is a very interesting prospecting find. Is it worth digging down to try and find iron? Tell me what you think, guys. And also I found a fantastic underground ruin. Now, when we go underground to these ruins, we now are not guaranteed to get even 50% of the clutter blocks we have to make glue. Resin I'm okay on. Part of the glue is charcoal. We haven't yet made a charcoal burner. So we will make a simple charcoal burner. And then we'll go underground and see if we can establish what are clutter blocks and what are blocks that we can get out easily. I hope you enjoy this video. Well, it's time to mine copper yet again. It's amazing how quickly one's supplies go down. Let's see if we can find this copper. Oh, that's gravel. That's not. There we go. Excellent. Time to mine copper. Time to get some whole blocks of slate using the chisel. This is this beautiful ruin I found. Do you remember I said I would come back and get this, these blocks of slate? It's so easy to find. Let's get them all. Well, that was very disappointing. On a lot of these, I got this message when I try to chisel it. Can't chisel this block, it's too unstable and might collapse. Huh, okay, that's all right. How many blocks did I get? Two and... Interesting, that's slate rock. Oh, that's chiseled, that's not. Well, I got seven. It's better than nothing, isn't it? Before I do anything, I've got my prospecting pick on me and I'm trying to build up a picture of what's around. So let's try this. We're going to have to uh, st start here. Two more samples. One more sample. Let's just needs to be at least, oops, three. It's three. That should do it. Now we've got decent cassiterite, poor cinnabar, decent limonite. That's interesting. If it's decent, would it be worth digging down here. Hmm. It's a good one to find. Now let's have a quick look at our map. Aha! Decent limonite. And that was ultra high cassiterite, as we th would expect. Poor hematite, poor cinnabar. Minuscule amounts of emerald and bismuthinite. I think that must mean there's something under there. Oh my word. Right, let's get that off my bar and let's eat something. I 
I think this is where I have no it's not I was going to say is this where I've been down before I can't see with this wretched torch on my bar um, can I get down sensibly here you know if I'm going to do this uh, I'm going to have to have that in my right hand if I want to take a block out can I do that I can. Nice. I'm going to go down. Great way of doing it. I will come back to you on this. I had a look at the depth of this cave and decided I need to come back with a bucket of water or ladders to have a look at that. It's very, very deep. Unbelievable. Right, how much inventory space have I got? Quite a bit. What have I got over that I can look at? I've got woad over here. Which is fantastic. We'll collect that. Have another little look. Am I heading towards wolf country here? Probably. Ah, excellent. I shall carry on collecting. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Dear ear, I don't know whether that's edible. It is. How nice. And what is this? Shiitake. Those are edible in real life. Yes. And they're edible here. Brilliant. And if these are going to look this good here, I want to take some of these. What can I get rid of uh, that I don't particularly need? Slate sand. My word, that looks gorgeous. I think I'm wondering. I am in wolf country here. Yeah, I'm in wolf country. Wow, this is a pretty area. I hear the wolves, let's go away. That's a pretty area. My goodness, that's lovely. Let's run out of here. Get ourselves away from the wolves. Whoa. There we go. There we are, outside the wolf area, possibly. I'm finding a lot of resin. Can I reach that? I doubt it. I can with these. And what I am going to do is to leave the ladders there, obviously. Well, we might as well have some purple dye, seeing as I've got some blueberries. So 60 meters of water, 60 blueberries, seal. Excellent. And I have one blueberry left. Not bad. It's time to try and make some gear parts. I've got, uh, is it saw, chisel, 
because we need a large gear, yes. How many can I make? Two. What am I short of? Planks. That's not an issue. Let's just uh, saw some more. So it was uh, saw, hammer, chisel. I don't know if I've got enough resin, but we'll have a look. And planks. Nope. Sticks. There we go. Four. So we've got an axle, the four gear parts, and 24 planks. We have the large gear. That's fantastic. However much I need health hammers, it's time to make a proper bed. So we have a straw mattress, a linen sheet, and if I remember correctly, yes, look at that. Ha ha. And that will allow us to sleep for longer. Now, I think that if I'm going to have somewhere to sleep, I would like somewhere totally secure. And I have to say that my go-to place for security is always a cellar. Right, let's move this. And then we will put our bed here temporarily. There we go. Our first night in a proper bed. It should be morning. Yay! And if you remember, I brought these beautiful eagle ferns back and they do look just as glorious here as I thought they would. They may have to go in this area over here. Oh, our blueberry bushes have flowered. We have lots and lots of blueberries. How are we doing on the bees? That is a large population. <gasps> Poor, what size? Poor, but harvestable. That does not make sense. How odd. Right, I am continuing to collect flax and this harvest is now complete. And our onions are complete. Uh, not onions, carrots. Brilliant. Our food supplies are gradually improving. I will do my harvesting and come back to you. That's not bad for a first harvest, is it? Looking good. Oh, I found tin. Oh, oh my word. Oh my word. Oh, God. Oh, don't throw away your... Oh, my goodness. That's gorgeous. There's a coffin. Oh, my gosh. And another coffin. There's lots of coffins. Beautiful, beautiful things coming down, glow lights, glow worms. Oh my gosh. This is a place, isn't it? What an amazing dungeon. And what beautiful rocks. I was out looking for, well, other things. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's gorgeous. Uh, I think what we might do, do I have room? I do. Any more 
Fulton? No. Gosh, this is beautiful. Let's get a photo of that. I want the iron door, of course. I was I was out collecting rock. Let me pop this on a map. And I just happened to think I might wander into this cave. So I think we will try and be careful here. Is there anything here? No so far. Huge sound of water here. What's that? Chalk. Let's hope this is where I came in. I think it is. Yeah, so that's actually a dead dungeon. Look what I have. More leather. Now, I have got a hand basket and a linen sack. I want to empty this. Flax drain, dry grass and a stick. So this, flax grain, dry grass and sticks. That should read empty. So let's take that out. And then I want to put in a leather backpack. Excellent. More slots. And then this one is a, the flint spear. Yes, it's the one on the end, isn't it? So it's, yeah. Let's get that off. Come on. There we go. Empty. Let's take that out. Good. We've got more leather. All right, let's get that one in. The full four backpacks. Now, I want to take my knife. Let's take this out of there. And I want to cut the basket. I don't personally find the baskets that useful. Come on. That's it. It's only five, but it all helps. The linen sack I want to keep. I think they're very ornamental and I like them a lot. And look, we may have even more flax. Let's go and clear the inventory. I'm making myself a hay bed. And this lets me sleep for up to seven hours a day. Whereas this bed lets me sleep up to eight and a half. So sometimes if you work part way through the night and you just want a short sleep, it's very, very useful to have a hay bed. It's one of the earliest beds. And I'm gonna pop it in here, which I think is possibly safe. <laughs> Not entirely convinced. Let's pop that there. So at the moment, it's two. Yeah, I think I'd like to sleep till nine o'clock. Let's see if I am safe or something kills me in my sleep. Well, I was safe. I was not killed in my sleep. It's a beautiful day. I am really glad I picked this place to live. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Even the autumn colours look fantastic. Now, what I am contemplating is moving these bees. And I am thinking that it might be nice to have bees down at this level. So that as you look at my build, which is just in the initial stages. We've got terraces of plants 
that are the farms and then we have bees here i i actually have copper oh whoops under my base yeah i hate taking this bit down but i think we're gonna have to have a a look under here finally i can make another lantern I've just harvested one of my beehives. I have two clear quartz and we have a copper lantern. That is fantastic. I'm moving my bees. Now I need an empty hand. Just pop this in my mouth. Here we go. So if I take that, press control. Yes, that's gone into my area. Hopefully the bees are still inside. So we again press control. Poor population skept, that's fine but we have bees. Good. And then I've got a couple more flowers. I can go down alongside the bees. I want to make sure each bee hive has eight flowers around it. So we're starting here. And we've got that one. That's it. Okay. Now, the next thing, of course, is we have to move our bag back to give us our slots. And we need to move up these, which I do by pressing shift. Good. Get these down next to the bees so that when we run out of the bee area, we don't need that one there. One. Gosh, they're so eerie, these things. Oh, hello. They are truly odd. I'm making a very, very simple charcoal burner. So what we need to do is to put in some charcoal like this. It is 32 to a space. And you can see that the design of this is so easy. I find that huge charcoal burners are almost so destroying. You, you have to take a forest down to even cope with them. And they do take a long time to fill. Whereas if we can do a very simple, wow, those don't give much forward, come on. Let's, let's have a bit more, please. If we can do a very simple charcoal burner, it just makes it quick and easy. Let's fill that one with 32. And then we're gonna put the fire get this on my bar there four okay where's our torch hello we've got an extra piece of grass that we don't need light her up there we are and the charcoal burner is going now it's very very difficult to remember 
where these simple charcoal burners are. I mean, we may end up cutting one or more out of this hillside. But just so that we remember, let's... Uh, right. Charcoal. Oh, cost Charcoal. Burner. Where's my arrow? <laughs> it just makes the point. And you can see from the smoke that this is all becoming very easy. Now what I will do is take this stone up and we'll leave that to make us some nice charcoal. Right, well, it looks like our charcoal is complete. Yes. Nice. Now, I've done this charcoal for a reason other than making glass in a bloomery. But I have to say, this charcoal is exactly the right amount. I'd forgotten the charcoal, that's why I've come back. I was in the middle of, re of going through a cave. So let's hop in here, and I also need resin which is not here. Let me uh, right, let's make sure we've got key ingredients for glue. I am going to leave this torch holder here. I've at least retrieved one thing. So I have all the ingredients I need. I am not going to need more than that, I hope. I've got some spare fuel here. I don't know how long it takes to cook. Crazy, I know. Right, let's hurtle round up. We're going over there. So we'll go just round the hill and back to that cave. Now we came down here. We had to edge past this bit. Let's go down here. And let's block the entrance as a starting point. Oh my word. This looks fantastic. Now, I'm not sure I'm not sure what can spawn in here. So let's, as a starting point, age polish rock. Oh my goodness. Right, let's put a torch down. We can actually shut the door. Can anything get to us around here? What is round here? Altar with wet duck. Oh, an aged torch holder. Fantastic. And I've lost already that beautiful thing, but that I can pick up without glue. Okay. Right, let's keep going. Now the coffins are incredibly useful. Can I pick, ah, may shatter if broken can be repaired using glue. Okay. So we do get a sign as to what can be repaired and what can't. Okay, now these coffins, I am presuming, are the same ones. Is there anything in there? 
I don't know. I'm presuming they're the same ones as we can use in the big furnaces. Let's see if that's correct. I've actually come all this way and I can't get out the coffins. All is not lost though. What I would like to do is to take now these age polished rock. Do these not come out? No, they come out as bits, don't they? It's only the whole blocks we can get out. Right, is that a whole block? I can get that out. I can't get that. Wow. So we can get quite a bit out of here. What am I picking up here? Just the ashlar blocks. That means I'm going to have to build a pulverizer. Unless, of course, I can buy some of the powdered charcoal. Interesting. Yep, I've got the... I have managed to get, surprisingly, the altar. You know, it's incredibly useful that they tell you what can be repaired with glue. So we've established that much. I want these blocks to build with. And we've got all this dirty gravel under here. Is there anything above here? I would doubt it. Oh my goodness, these are whole blocks. Now, ceiling chain can be repaired with glue. I wonder if we can hang anything off them yet. I don't want to leave too many holes in that wall. Hello. Oh gosh, I'm in a coffin. I don't want to stay in a coffin. And that is slate rock, right. Right, I've got almost two stacks of these beautiful blocks that I wanted. Um, there's a lot that is still here. The coffins, I think, are fantastic, but I need glue for them. The chains, I think, are wonderful. I need glue for them. The door, I think I can get out without glue. Yes, so what I'm going to do is to leave this ruin. I can hear the, the grim sounds already. Oh, you're right down there. I wonder if there's anything else down there. Oh, oh, you're coming from down there. What else is there? I didn't know there was anything down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just run. See, oh my gosh, this goes on. Wow. Oh no. Wow. Oh God. Aphids. Aphids, 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 gribblies, good grief. Yeah, 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 I'm running out. I'm going to try and run away from you. Oh, there's our... Let's just do that as a starting point. Well, we know where the aphids are now. Let's run through this. We're okay. Great, and we can can run home across the world. Well, that's useful to find because aphids at this stage, oh, hello. At this stage of the game where I don't have much armor, they are a bit of a trial. But I have to say that in the long term, 
uh, the stuff you can get from aphids, they have certain drops that are immensely useful. So it's going to be good to know where aphids are so that when we've got a bit more armour, we'll be able to go in and raid their nests. That's fantastic. So I can't get the coffins yet, but I've got an iron door, which is superb, and lots of beautiful blocks. What is more important is that we have now established that we can get some really good blocks out of these ruins if we want. These are the blocks that they're actually built with. I also like the fact that where we have to use glue, it tells us. And I love the fact that I got an iron door without having to put glue on it. Yay! We found another aphid's nest, which will be useful for the future. It's all a learning curve, 1.19, isn't it, guys? All a learning curve. I suppose I'm going to have to focus my mind and build a pulverizer. Bye-bye, guys.